The Keystrokes feature in Macroworks captures keystrokes as you type them and allows you to easily save hotkeys or sequences of keyboard input, including modifier and special keys. Anything typed on the keyboard will be captured and replayed in the exact sequence it was recorded. Every down and up stroke is recorded separately. Most of us think of pressing a key as a single event, but to the computer it's actually two events, key down and key up. And when multiple keys are involved, the exact sequence and timing can be critical. Anyone who types on a keyboard knows this intuitively. If the shift key goes down and up before the A key is pressed, the result is a lowercase a. Holding the shift key until after the A key is pressed gives you an uppercase A. Keys like shift, control, and alt are called modifier keys because they modify the behavior of other keys. Caps lock and num lock are also modifiers. By default, Macroworks sends all events on the press of an X key. But there are some situations where it's preferable to have an X key act as a modifier and hold a key in its down state until you release it. The automatic separation of up and down strokes option will do this for you by moving the last recorded upstrokes into the release macro event. For example, if we record the copy macro, control C, you will see all down and up events in the press macro pane and know they will be sent when the X key is pressed. If we turn on the automatic separation option and record the same combination, you will see the up events are now moved to the release event pane and they won't be sent until the X key is released. Holding the X key down would be the same as holding the control and C keys down on your keyboard. Let me show you a practical application for this by programming one of my favorite SketchUp tools. The programmers at SketchUp were very thoughtful in recognizing that many times while you're using the paint bucket tool, it would be handy to sample colors or textures in the model so you can quickly touch up modifications. They added a nice little feature to the paint bucket tool so if you hold down the Alt key, it temporarily changes to the eyedropper tool for sampling colors or textures. I've taken this a step further and added the Alt modifier to my X key, so holding my paint bucket key down will turn it into the eyedropper tool. Here's how to program it. Make sure the automatic separation box is checked. Press and release the B key. Press and release the Alt key. That's it. My X key will send the B key down and up and the Alt key down when it's pressed, and send the Alt key up when it's released. If I just tap the key in SketchUp, it sends all the keystrokes and leaves me with a paint bucket tool. At any time, I can press and hold my paint bucket key and get the eyedropper tool. In SketchUp, I can now sample and pour colors and textures quickly with my finger on just one key. You can also edit the down and up strokes by selecting the pause button. You can delete or backspace to remove unwanted events in either pane. But be careful, if you delete an upstroke, you could end up with a stuck key. Macroworks has an algorithm to detect potential stuck keys and warn you before you save them. Still, it's best to make sure every key that goes down also comes up if you start editing keystrokes. If you have a creative macro to share with us, we would love to hear from you. Send an email to tech at xkeys.com. And thanks for watching this tutorial.